Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So, Ryan Garcia is yet again doing damage control where he puts out a tweet that says, Devin, F it, let's run it again. If you feel you were cheated, we can run it again. I only eat oysters for training camp and won't sleep. This goes after Ron Garcia tested positive for multiple PEDs. I stream and he asked, well, May, they're going to do another, they're going to run this B sample on May 22nd. And you can see he's trying to get ahead of it. Now, I had people come in my comment section talking about us a billion of a, I can't remember if it was a billion of an eighth or whatever. Well, number one, we don't know that. But reports is coming out that the limit is six times, 60 times over than what he should be having, Ryan Garcia, when he went up against Devin Haney. And I'm really to the point now where I just wish that y'all would just say, oh, Ryan, y'all just like Ryan Garcia and that y'all don't care if he cheated. Because this is what we see in boxing. Because Devin Haney got beat. People refused to believe that performance enhancements was involved even when even when he said te he test positive and ryan was also dropping clint uh hints to my oh i never got caught i never got caught but then you have extreme ryan fanboys who because they hate Devin haney it's like you refuse to know to accept that because again if Devin haney dominated ryan garcia like that and Devin Haney popped dirty. The first thing people will say is, hmm, no wonder Devin Haney got all his power. And Devin Haney will be guilty until he proves his innocence. See, Ryan Garcia has to go up against the athletic commission and let them know why he had all of that in his system. Remember, he tried to blame it on some vitamin company, but then the vitamin company said that they don't know what he's talking about. And this is just what Ryan does. But because he pulls at very... Um, people who believe in the illuminatis and you know a thousand different conspiracies and that the world's out to get him even though this man said he was drug dragged out of his house and forced to watch horrible things with children you know he know that people gonna ride for him on that literally to the point of delusion to where if the man popped dirty people go hey it's a conspiracy they conspired against him you know it's a setup even though when fighters pop dirty all the time i.e connor ben people trash him in the media so my whole thing is we got to pick a side when it's your favorite fighter and he and he popped dirty it ain't no excuse for that but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think